Hello everyone, in this video we want to enhance our chatbot with a Bing search or Google search. I'm going to use the Bing search here, but you can use the SERP API, which is basically a wrapper for the Google search. As you know, the generative models are trained and have a cutoff, so they don't have new information. Therefore, we need to add the ability to make some web searches or use other APIs to enhance our chatbots. Okay, so the requirements we're going to need are going to be Langchain, Python.env, OpenAI. We want to put our keys in the .env file. So we need to import the request file OS, load.env. These are the basics. From Langchain chat models, chat OpenAI. Also, we want a memory for our conversation. And here's the interesting part. We want to use agents from Langchain. Agents, they have reasoning capability to think which steps to take right now. And we want to define a tool. The tool is going to be the Bing API call to get web searches. And the agent is then going to reason, okay, the user pose the question can i answer the question by myself if yes then okay i'm just going to answer it if not then it's going to use the tool get the web searches and answer it with the web searches as context this is very powerful okay load.env okay let's look at the documentation of the search api we want to call this endpoint and the response object it's going to have web page and there will be a snippet for each site. We don't get the full web page. For that, you would have to define another tool to crawl the web page or something. But the snippet will be sufficient here, so we'll just use it this way. And instead of calling it ourselves, let's just go to ChatGPT like it's done today. Let's tell him I already did it. But let's tell them we want to request this endpoint. We need this in the header for the subscription key. And Q will be the query the user inputs and here is going to be our output let's just copy it and we want to define it as a function we also want to join the snippets as a text file separate by a new line let's list and return the snippets for the subscription key it always dot get an major key so this will be our tool let's go to the langchain documentation for tools there are di different ways that you can uh, define custom tools you can use the tool data class and then from function we are just going to use the tool decorator so add tool the model need to know that that the input is a string that the output is a string also the doc string should have a description so that the model knows what it should use this tool for. So it searches the internet for additional information if the man cannot provide the answer by itself. Specifically useful if you need to answer questions about current events or the current state of the world. Let's define the LLM. Chat open AI. GPT 3.5 Turbo. You need to insert your tools in a list. We all only have one tool here, so just searching. We also want the memory buffer for our model so we can interact with our previous messages. Memory key is chat history. Also want to set the return. Messages to true. I want to get the actual agent. We want a conversational agent, and here we also want to use the chat model. So the GPT 3.5 Turbo, not the generative model. So the difference is the generative model is just a large language model trained on a data, and the chat model is specifically fine-tuned for chat and there's a different interface so that it's it's parsing the inputs a little bit different. So it's optimized on chatting self-explanatory i guess copy the agent chain here what we also want to add here is handle parsing errors because as you can see here the agent chain it needs the response to be in a specific format action action input thought the observation okay this is the input from the user the thought yeah i need to take an action or i don't need to take an action and our chatbot is not always returning the answer in such a format and therefore we need to handle parsing errors so it gets turned into this format and the chat can continue without errors so let's find our chat loop print input something while true we want a user input if query exit and break help not agent chain and input is the query okay let us test it i'm just going to run it in docker into install the requirements of course now let's run it oh, may i chat hello my name is leon ah we obviously Need to add a run. Now we can run it. Hello, my name is Leon. Yeah, it got into the chain. It thought to itself, yeah, I have an answer. I don't need to use any other tools. Nice to meet you. How can I assist you? Do you know my name? So let's check if it has the, the memory active. Okay, and here we had the problem. The output was in a fa false format, could not parse. Here we would have 
had an error but because we added the handle parsing errors it reformatted it yeah now we have it in the right format again what is the current state of the ukrainian war i'm sorry i don't have access but you can use the search bing tool here's an example how you can use the tool and it provides the action search bing the input current state of the ukrainian war then it sent it to the tool here's the the result, snippet results now it's taken this context as input and conjuring up an answer. Amazing! This obviously with the OpenAI API, which is costing you a little bit. For hugging face, you would need a model which is a little bit sophisticated. Here locally on my machine, I can only use some models. I can use an 8-bit mode, some only in 4-bit mode. So uh, the reasoning is not sufficient to be used here. So I would have to use a Google Colab or some cloud provider. If you want to see this whole thing done in hugging face, just let me know it in the comments. I gave ChatGPT the code and said, let's write a simple web interface. And after that, I told him to make it look more like ChatGPT itself with a grayish tone and the history of chats. It wrote it in Flask, it's pretty simple. That's how it looks. Let's try it out. Is Google much better than ChatGPT? I encourage you to play around with it yourself. Go make some projects. When I started the project, I tried different things and then I went to the documentation. So, oh, okay, there are agents. That's how you could do it. I looked into my notes. I made from a video, Langchain crash course in 13 minutes. And I actually had it standing there about the agents, the React framework and everything. I don't mean the, I mean the JavaScript React, I mean React, uh, the uh, agent React framework. So I had it all written down there, but I couldn't remember it because I haven't applied it. So play around with it yourself and then you're going to know how to use this framework and how to build applications, how to tailor applications to the needs of customers or your needs. Yeah, that's an important thing that you have the experience with different projects you want to build, you want to have fun with. If this video helped you, leave a like, subscribe and I have fun exploring these things. So if there's something else you'd like me to do, just let me know it and I hope I can help you on the way.